Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title of today's video, I am going to be attacking, attacking? Attacking root mealybugs which have um, invaded my Hoya. So I put up a story on my Instagram. If you don't already, you can follow me here. Yeah. <laughs> um, I put up a story about having root mealies and I got some really good suggestions on how to get rid of them. So I am going to be trying that today. Um, and I'm going to be repotting them and I thought I would just film, show you what I do to get rid of them um, in case you ever encounter them. I actually had a lot of people um, message me saying that they didn't even know root mealy was a thing. Yes, it's a thing. And of course, I'm the one to get it. Like, god damn. Uh, yeah, so let's jump into the video. This here is my Hoya Kerii. Um, this is the plant that I noticed the root mealies on first. And let me see if I can find them. So if you can see those little white fuzzy dots um, around the roots, so sort of around this area here, that is what root mealies look like. So yeah, that is what I am dealing with at the moment. Okay, so as you saw, I have my Hoya in clear pots. Um, the first time I got root mealy, I decided to pot all my Hoya into clear pots and that was just so I could keep an eye on the roots um, because sometimes I do get a bit of root rot um, and obviously root mealy. So the clear pots are the best way to be able to see what's going on underneath the soil um, and that is obviously how I found out that they have root mealy again. Um, and I am going to pot them into straight tree fern fibre. So what these are in now uh, is a mix of um, potting mix, tree fern fibre, sphagnum moss, um, some perlite and vermiculite. I just mix it all together so it's a super airy, well draining mix. Um, but I've decided I'm just going to put them straight into tree fern fibre. Um, tree fern fibre doesn't hold any nutrients though so I will have to feed them regularly in the growing season um, but that is totally fine. <laughs> if you hear noises in the background that's my baby. He's just chilling, playing with my hair clip. Um, anyway, so first things first. So first things first, I am going to unpot my Hoya, wash off the roots. I am going to trim any um, dead roots because what the root mealy do is they attach to the roots and they basically suck the life out of your plant. So a few of these roots will be dead, I already know that. And I actually propagate a lot of my Hoya in tree fern fibre. So if I do end up cutting some of the roots off my Hoya, when I plant them back into tree fern fibre, it's almost going to be like I'm propagating them again. So they'll grow back some really healthy, strong roots. Um, and then I'm going to be soaking them in a bucket of warm soapy water. Um, I use a natural plant-based dish soap and some commercial grade neem oil. And basically what that's going to do is it's going to suffocate the root mealy on the plant's roots. Um, it won't damage your plant, so I'm going to probably soak them for maybe an hour or two um, just to make sure they're all dead and then what I'll do is I'll rinse the roots off and make sure that there's no more root mealy on there and then I will repot them into the tree fern fibre. Um, so I will be reusing the pots that they are in, but I will be sterilising them under boiling water and a little bit of bleach and then I will rinse them also, so <laughs> if you are still with me and you are still following along, I will show you exactly what I'm going to do. So let's tackle these. Thank you. 
Okay, so for the repot, the mealy bug treatment repot, we have my Hoya Crimson Princess. Mahoya Crimson Queen. Now I'm not too sure if this one does, but it is in a black pot, so I'm just going to transfer it to a clear pot. I have my Hoya Kirii, my Hoya Fungii, my Hoya Casei, <laughs> uh, my Hoya Polynura, my Hoya Crinkle Eight, and my Hoya Obovata. So that is the lineup for the treatment and the repot. This is the neem oil I will be using. It is a commercial strength neem oil um, at a rate of one mil per one litre. Yeah, I'm gonna be filling up a 10 litre bucket halfway, so five litres, so I'll be using five mil of that. And then this, <clears throat> this is the Dish soap I am using, it is just a natural um, dish soap at a rate of a big squirty slug. Um, yeah. <laughs> I have all my infected Hoya here. I have a bucket here which I'm going to empty all the soil into. Now I'm not going to compost the soil, the soil is going straight into the rubbish. Once I have removed all the soil from the Hoya, they are going to go into this bucket um, which has the soap and the neem oil in and they are going to soak for two to three hours. So that is what I'm going to do. Okay, my camera died so I have to use my phone but I just wanted to show you the disgusting root melee that are all over my curiae. Um, all those little white fuzzy things are root mealies and I don't know how well it'll pick it up but these roots are just dead, void of life so I'm going to chop quite a bit of these roots off um, and just try and leave the healthiest ones I can find but yes, that my friends is root mealy Okay, apologies for the camera angle the lighting. I'm out on my deck. Um, I'm going to be rinsing the Hoya off now. Uh, my camera died so I don't, I can't remember where I got up to in regards to filming. Um, but I have been soaking the Hoya. They have been in there for quite a few hours now. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna rinse the roots, put them in my tray and get them ready for potting up. Okay, my face is redder than a beetroot now, so I won't be on camera, but in this bucket I have tree fern fibre, um, which is the substrate I am going to plant my Hoya back into, and as suggested by somebody on Instagram, was to add these neem oil granules to the soil that I use, um, and it acts as like a natural pest repellent in the soil yeah, I'm excited to try that. So I'm basically going to mix some of this into my fern fiber. Um, these are my pots all sterilized and clean that I'm going to plant them back into. So that is what I'm going to do now.
Okay guys, that is all the Hoya potted up back in the tree fern fibre and neem oil mix. Um, they all look really good so I'm super excited. Um, make sure you follow me on Instagram at wildvineplants because I will be updating you on how these guys grow and if the mealybug ever come back. Um, but for now I'm really happy they're all looking super super good so fingers crossed that all that was worth it. <laughs> I am seriously a red disgusting mess. But anyway, I hope you guys found this video useful. Um, let me know if you've come across root mealy before and what you've done to help combat it. Um, I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I will be uploading videos more regularly now. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to those who have subscribed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!